Good afternoon and welcome to another episode of Unscripted and Unchained RPG Review. I am titleless Bloodworth for today, uh, for, for this video, uh, because this video is not going to focus on any one particular role-playing game. This is a channel news update. This is update number 62. Uh, these, these average around, you know, once every six to eight weeks or so. And um, I usually do these when I have either significant amounts of uh, projects that I'm working on or the channel has hit several mile milestones. And, and that's the case for, you know, these last two days. Um, it's been a record month of growth for the channel. And uh, I, I truly appreciate all of uh, the channel's visitors, whether, whether you come in and you just watch a video and then you move on um, without subscribing. Although I hope that, you know, uh, you, you found enough of interest that uh, you would consider subscribing and hitting the bell so that you will see, uh, you know, future uploads. Uh, for my subscribers, both the old and the new subscribers, you know, much appreciated. And like I said, this has been a record month of growth for the channel. And really over the last, you know, they, they do a metric of, of just measuring the last 28 days. Um, but really it's been the last two weeks or so that there's been a literal expo explosion of, uh, of subs. So I'm super appreciative of everybody that has come in and subscribed, liked videos, commented in particular, um, you know, and just really encouraged me to keep on generating content that you want to see. And I, I do, I look over my videos and I see what is actually working, what isn't working, and I use that as a benchmark. So um, I have been looking at shorts and I've been doing my, I've been doing the short videos uh, covering my Robert E. Howard collection. I'm still going to continue doing that. But if there's anything else that you would like to see as, in the way of short video content, uh, please feel free to leave that in the comments section. And, uh, you know, because I am looking for something that will really make the shorts, you know, explode as well. Um, some things I've seen that I, I kind of fell off from and I want to go back to it again. So, uh, you know, I will, I will do that. And um, after I go through some of the, uh, some of the analytics, uh, just to show you that growth of the channel. Uh, and then I will come back to the widescreen and talk about some of the things that I'm currently doing and uh, projecting to do or working on. So let's go to the analytics. <clears throat> so here we have that the, uh, the channel has received 17,000 views in the last 28 days. Uh, that is up 9.5 thousand, uh, so 9,500 more than usual. Um, watch time is up, uh, up to 2,300, um, hours of watch time in the last 28 days up 141 subscribers. And I don't necessarily think that it catches the last 24 hours or so, but even with that number, it is 90 more than usual. So like I said, this has been a, um, a banner month for the channel. And, and so I'm, I'm so appreciative of those of you that have actually signed on, um, Estimated revenue, I, I mean, it's usually around this amount anyway. I'm not in this for the revenue, even though it's nice to have. Um, you know, it helps buy uh, some of the, you know, some of the subscriptions that I need for running the channel, uh, such as my live streams and, and things like that. Um, and it, it does not technically go towards... Um, purchasing materials. That's, you know, that's my other thing with like drive through RPG and stuff like that. So, um, there's always the link for that. You can always go in and link into that. And, uh, you know, that will give me, you know, some funds that I can then, uh, turn around and buy content for the game uh, or for the channel. If you are, I'll switch out of this view now. Uh, if you are a, uh, if you're a creator, 
and you want me to take a look at uh, look at something, you can uh, you can reach out to me on the channel and say, hey, you know, uh, can we exchange email addresses? I got some stuff that I'd like for you to take a look at. I just I just uh, you know took a look at someone's uh, cover of an RPG that that he is working on and and wanted me to take a look at it and say, hey, what do you think about this image? Um, I'm super super open to that. Um, you know, if you want to. You know, if you want me to review, um, you know, a game that you've or a game supplement that you've created, um, just shoot me an email and, um, you know, and send me the PDF. I will review it. I will look at, you know, look it over. And if it's something that I actually would want to back, I am going to make the purchase of your, whether it's a Kickstarter or it's a, uh, you have a, uh, a physical copy of it. Um, you know, I don't take things for free and, you know, and, um, you know, I just use them for the channel. I, I like to purchase what comes across the channel uh, for people requesting me to take a look at things. So I, I like to support, you know, the, the people supporting me by coming to my channel and, uh, and watching things. So, and then there's also... Uh, membership and uh, you know I have to pitch this more often I know uh, but there is a membership uh, uh, thing that you can hit on there if you if you want to join as a member and uh, you know the price points are, are fairly low um, the the lowest being like a dollar a month and the highest being like three ninety nine a month and that will gain you access to actually playing in my games whether it be a one shot. Or if you're at the higher end, you know, I will actually bring you into a group where uh, we will play persistently for, you know, quite some time. Because I always think about long running campaigns, not the, you know, short little six week campaigns or anything like that. I'm always thinking long term. So uh, let, if that in mind, let's start taking a look at some of the things that I am currently doing. So, of course, I'm not going to pull the books out of it. I just resorted out some of my books there. So you can see I, I had to do a little bit of reorganizing because I just picked up six new books for Castles and Crusades. So, um, but otherwise, I am running a D&D first edition uh, campaign. I have eight players. Uh, they're all phenomenal. We're having such a great time. Uh, we have just completed week 75 of our uh our ongoing campaign their characters are roughly levels eight and nine now um the paladin might be legal, lagging a little bit behind and um the the fighter thief is almost leveled out to where he'll become a first level bard very very soon uh so um so first edition a d and d that is my Dungeons and Dragons of choice. I also just recently started a Vigilante City campaign. I have uh, three players in that, uh, so there's always room for more. Uh, we run uh, Tuesdays, uh, Tuesday mornings as of now. Um, that could always change. Uh, it depends on my work schedule. <clears throat> but... Uh, but as of now, we're running through this. We've we've done two sessions so far. They've done two adventures so far. It's a very episodic uh, approach to uh, you know to the role playing sessions, and the sessions have been fairly short too, which I'm I'm kind of liking. I'm liking the fact that it's a you know it's roughly a two hour session, and it it really does build into almost like a like a superhero television show. Uh, you know, very very short, action packed kind of uh, thing going on. We're still trying to get uh, a real feel for the campaign and, and um, you know, get, get a sense of how we want to approach a superheroes game. Uh, this is primarily built around a, like the street level uh, kind of superhero thing. So not like world saving kind of stuff like you'd see like the X-Men or anything like that. Um, and this I think has the potential for having a, a slightly darker tone, um, which I also, which I also like as well. So, 
set in my own, you know, my own world setting and everything like that. Uh, it's called Empire City uh, 2057. And uh, so far, it's, it's going pretty well. I, I think we're having a lot of fun with it. And they're starting to uh, develop a sense of their characters. And we're, we're tweaking the rules so that their powers kind of make sense or match up more with the vision for their characters and such. So it's a great system. It's very flexible. And uh, we're having fun with it. So that's another project. Uh, we're now into technically week three of that. We had a session zero and then two play sessions. If you've been following my channel, you also know that I've been, I went back into Skyrim and I've been playing Skyrim. And um, right now I have a character, Akavasha, who is named after a Robert E. Howard uh, vampire sorceress from, um, you know, from the book. Um, oh my gosh. It's not the year of the dragon. Um, the hour of the dragon, the hour of the dragon. And so I'm playing a, a female sorceress who just in the last episode um, unintentionally became a vampire. I got I got ambushed on the road um, to a town that I was trying to get to. And, um, you know, she came across two strangers. They're like, hey, come on over here. And all of a sudden I know I'm, I'm getting attacked by two uh, fledgling vampires. And I was like, crap, I, you know, really wanted her to be a slightly more powerful uh, you know, magic user or wizard or whatever they call them in there. And, um, you know, because she doesn't have some of the uh, spell abilities that I was hoping that she would have at the point. And so, uh, but anyway, she's a vampire now at, uh, at level five and uh, we'll see how, how well that works out. Um, she has, she has two more days at least before she has to start feeding. So we'll see how much I can actually accomplish I'm hoping to get to, um, I'm hoping to get to the uh, the necromage ability, which will actually help to mitigate some of her um, some of her issues when she's in sunlight. Uh, yeah, vampires don't just burst into flames and and die in sunlight, but they do uh, uh, they do become very much weaker in sunlight. So Skyrim, been getting into it. I've done six episodes so far. I'll probably play another episode tonight and that'll probably go up tomorrow. And then one, uh, one of the six books of uh, Castles and Crusades, the, the codexes that I picked up is uh, Codex Nordica. And you might start to see that there's, you know, possibly a, a connection here that I'm looking to do. And, uh, you know, I noticed that they do have uh, Dwegar in here. And, you know, that's one of the, you know, one of the early things that you face there as well. Um, they're actually vampiric here as well, uh, but not here in Skyrim. So that might be a little tweak that I'm doing. And I'm, I'm kind of, you know, tipping my hand as to what my Castles and Crusades slash Skyrim uh, homebrew uh, game is going to look like. Uh, now, obviously, that's not something that I could... Uh, that I could ever publish and, and put out there. Uh, but it's certainly something that I'm going to do as far as my home game. So speaking of publishing, because uh, I do have some things on drive through RPG that I've published under our cell uh, games, uh, games publishing. And uh, you can link through there and see some of my, my stuff that's there. But uh, you know, I, I've been thinking about publishing for, you know, uh, some different games than I already have on there and, uh, castles and crusades with all of the stuff that's been going on in these last couple of weeks with the OGL. Um, they've, you know, troll Lord games has simplified, uh, or at least cleared up some misconceptions I had about the third party, uh, you know, third party, uh, publishing and their guidelines for writing materials for them. I, I thought that, those guidelines were necessary. Like we had to strictly follow those formats and everything. And, and then uh, Stephen Chenault kind of corrected it. And he was like, no, no, that's not, that's really for our writers to follow, you know, line by line. But uh, I believe sometime thereafter, they put up a little, uh, a little notation on their, their website under third party uh, publishing 
that basically says, you know, these are guidelines for you to, uh, for you to reference and, uh, but you can choose to follow those guidelines or not. Um, you know, same thing with their writing. Uh, the only thing that they, they have now is that you do have to, you know, obviously attribute what you're doing and, and put the proper labeling on your product that it is, you know, castles and crusades or, uh, or, and, or troll Lord games and, and, and along those lines i think pretty much castles and crusades you could also do for their their other games um they have another game i i just picked it up so it's uh it's uh amazing adventures so you could also write you could write for any of their game systems that they do have so uh, i'm going to focus on castles and crusades so i'm looking forward to doing that and you know and now taking a look at um you know this codex nordica and seeing how much is in Skyrim that's also in here. Uh, and um, it'll make less work for myself if I do find enough crossover for when I do begin to uh, get ready to run that particular campaign. So in the future, I am looking to run three, uh, three consecutive campaigns. My AD&D first edition campaign is going to continue for at least another year um, I'm expecting. And then uh, my uh, my Vigilante City will go as long as, uh, you know, as long as it's very episodic. So it's not, it's not like a, I'm tied to just those three players. Multiple players can come in. Those, the players that I do have can have other characters in their stable of characters to use. So it is a much, much more flexible kind of a thing uh going on if i invite people who become members on the channel uh to do one shots that is most likely where i'm going to enter them into but also i might ask them to come in and, and play test uh some of the uh you know the campaign and world building that i'm doing uh with this uh combining of skyrim and uh, castles and crusades as well Looking forward to this upcoming week. I may have um, I may have both uh, Stephen and Davis Chenault from Troll Lord Games on the channel. Uh, that'll be Stephen's second time on the on the channel, uh, so that we could talk about you know really their plans moving forward with the changes in OS uh, the OS uh, the OSR the uh, OGL, and. Um, so looking forward to that. Uh, I haven't had the pleasure of meeting uh, Davis before, so uh, uh, looking forward to it sometime. That, um, I'm anticipating. I'm glad the books actually came beforehand. Um, they came super fast. As you saw in my, my last video uh, of this day, they came super fast. I was really surprised, uh, you know, uh, of that and just looking forward to digging into this stuff. So anyway... Thanks for joining. Thanks for stopping through, you know, and, uh, you know, leave your questions and comments, your thumbs up. Please subscribe if you consider it to subscribe and hit that, uh, you know, hit the uh, the bell so that you'll get alerts of new, uh, you know, new videos coming up. I don't anticipate another video coming up uh, this evening. Uh, so the next one will probably be another Skyrim uh, that will hit uh, sometime tomorrow. I'll set that up for tomorrow. And then Monday, I will do a, uh, before I have to leave for work, I will do a video uh, going through the white box of Castles and Crusades because I just picked that up in my uh, in my bundle there. So, uh, and that'll probably be something that I look to run at, um, at Rising Phoenix Con, uh, which is in April. So that's my next game con that I'm attending. And... Uh, Looking to run a couple games there and possibly even three. So, as always, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Uh, thank you very much for, um, you know, just bringing your traffic to the to the channel, uh, leaving your comments, leaving your your thumbs ups, and you know, and subscribing and and just keeping me so focused and interested. And and by all means, leave comments in there, asking me to take a look at something or. You know, hey, can you do some shorts on this particular topic? Um, as long as it's related to, you know, gaming and role playing in general, uh, whether it be computer games or, you know, consoles. I do a couple of uh, browser, 
you know, base games on, on my iPad uh, or tabletop is, is perfectly fine as well. Uh, RPG review is RPGs of all uh, of all modes of uh, engaging in them. So again, have a great evening. Take care.